Uh, hi everyone. So uh, today I'm uh, just finished my uh, Starhub AGM. So I'm just uh, it's still fresh. The whole AGM experience is still fresh in my mind. So I'm think uh, I'm coming out with this video to record uh, what is the one thing I learned about uh, learn from Starhub 2017 uh, AGM, which is uh, right here at Suntech. Okay, so there's the all the walls here. So one of the things is that uh, let's do it by the 3R model. One is the business model, the management, then we look at the valuations. Okay, but uh, even we, before proceeding to the uh, valuations, let's go to the first 2R, which is the business model and the management. So one of the things that uh, I know, I learned from the uh, Starhub as, as a point of recording is that Singapore right now has another uh, data provider that's coming in. Uh, known as the circle circle life or circle dot something so uh, if you have some knowledge in the telco industry is that uh, new startups uh, often may give promotion codes to uh, to gain subscribe to gain subscribers so however when uh, you know sometimes when they can list the whole infrastructure from the incumbents maybe like Singtel, Starhub or M1 but after that once it reaches a saturation point where they find that the number of users that they want to get on board into their systems it way exceeds what the infrastructure can uh, allow that is when probably some startups uh, may say hey let's uh, jack up the price or perhaps uh, reduce in the, uh, in the quality of service so this is the one thing I learned that uh, as of this point of recording, which is uh, 12 April, uh, what I feel is that hopefully uh, for all startups, if they want to use promo codes to uh, gain the uh, subscriber base, hopefully uh, it is sustainable. So often when we invest in a business, we always need to ensure that uh, sustainability is key. We don't, we don't just want to uh, invest in the business for like two to three years and after that we ask, then, then the business that we invested gets into, into trouble, be it whether is it uh, burning up their cash flow or they are not, they, the balance sheet is not able to sustain uh, these kind of promotions that they have uh, set out on the onset. Okay, um, for then maybe one or another lessons that I learned in AGM is that uh, be, be there early Okay, be there early to meet the management and when you find that uh, when the CEO or the executive chairman or any of the key personnel uh, in the whole management team, they are standing by themselves. So often one of the habits that I have is that I go and make my presence uh, an obvious thing to them by going there, uh, just going up to shake their hands. Okay, in MIP we also teach, uh, for those MIP graduates, right, uh, just recall the, the one of the questions that we always uh, will uh, ask during AGM. So what's the biggest mistake that the management have made and what they have done about it. So uh, I hope that this uh, short video coming to almost 3 minutes 30 seconds uh, will give you an insight. And for those people who are not uh, MIP grads, right, um, we do have this uh, one day uh, introductory workshop. Okay, uh, which we will post it uh, in the comments above or the comments below. Okay, uh, so uh, you want to find out how we really, uh, how I apply the 3R model, uh, which is the right business model, right management, and the uh, third one is the uh, right price. Okay, that one will keep it as a mystery because you really have to be educated, have to invest in your own education uh, before you start investing in any stock. So I look forward to seeing you in our value group workshop or any of our events. See you.